Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños, the most unrelaxed, relaxed comedy. With a new intro, 2.0 logo, fresh episodes every two weeks, and new guests, please consider supporting us on Patreon, as it's the only way we've been able to successfully or unsuccessfully make these so far. Depending on the tier you pick, starting at five old buckaroonies a month, you can get in on our Discord, get a podcast t-shirt, get an exclusive podcast print, get on our monthly Jackbox game calls, make us read a note from you live on every episode, early access to episodes, Episodes, extended three-hour cuts, raw Zoom files, and more. Again, that's patreon.com slash pequeñopod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O-Pod. Otherwise, rate us five stars on your app so we can read your review, answer our polls and questions on Spotify for each release, enjoy this free episode, and have a terrible day. I wish this <laughs> podcast was sponsored by Truly, but <laughs> it's not. We're sponsored by Tap Water, dude. <laughs> <laughs> sponsored by St. Louis Tap Water. <laughs> Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I just realized my beer sleeve is the name of my company, so I'm going to go get another one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the self docs. <laughs> oh, and this beer sleeve has my social security number on it. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Silly me. I didn't realize how many of my beer sleeves have doxing information on them. <laughs> Holy shit. This was my parents' address. <laughs> no, for real. One of them was like one from like uh, our old high school. And one of them is like <laughs> the apartment place for where I live. <laughs> so if you drink with me, you know everything about Don't me. Don't look at my sleeves, dude. <laughs> Don't look at anything in my house. My picture frames are just like, here's my windows from the street. Here's my phone number. Here's my checking account. This is the account. business directly across from me. <laughs> this is my grandma's bank account login information. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you just moan harder with every sip. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> socks fly off. <laughs> they just like fling off like I rubber banded them across the fucking room. <laughs> It's that good, huh? One percent juice. Oh! Good heavens! Why would anyone drink beer? This stuff tastes so much better. What What is beer supposed to? As someone that doesn't drink, what does beer taste like? What is it supposed to taste like? What's a What's a good beer? Honestly, I I wouldn't be able to describe. I'm not a good like wine describer. You know? Oh no! Oh, this saying, one oh, tastes woody. Hints of cedar wood. Hints of my uncle's balls. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> dude, wine drinkers piss me off. They're like, you gotta smell it for five minutes. What are you talking about, dude? Steady inhale oh, for so five good. minutes. Their lungs keep filling until it just pops their fucking breast. <laughs> their chest cavity explodes. That's good wine. <laughs> <laughs> they just stick it into their lungs. <laughs> like it's live. <laughs> refill, waiter, refill. <laughs> refill, refill, please. <laughs> Can't even breathe. Sir, your ribs are on the table. (laughs) (laughs) I need Sir, pick your balls up off the floor. (laughs) Unrelated to the explosion. (laughs) I was going to tell you that before the explosion. Now it's awkward, but. (laughs) I wrapped them around my leg. Get it fucking together. (laughs) Bernie Sanders, what are you doing here? Does Bernie have long balls? Has that been confirmed? (laughs) Let's, let's let's contact him. <laughs> Today's special guest, Bernie, comes in via face cam. <laughs> He's not doing anything else right now. Imagine being that old and you're going to lose again to Joe fucking Biden. Imagine. How terrible is that, honestly? This guy is still, like, vigilant. He still wants to do shit. And Joe's like... Oh. Chocolate Waco Chip. What, what was the name of the ice cream? I don't remember. I, it's some, in my like, brain, it's name? always Choco Choco Chip now because you've said yeah, okay. that so many fucking times. <laughs> Where's yeah. my buddy Corn Pop? <laughs> I don't think that's what he said. He said, I that's... swear on my life. I swear that footage exists. I swear on the life of my buddy Corn Pop. <laughs> oh, I don't know if Corn Pop actually exists, but the story about Corn Pop definitely exists. Dude, he's corn schizophrenic. Corn Pop exists. It's that cereal from when we were like four years old. Yeah, but he... they only had two sugary cereals. It was like that... Apple Jacks and corn. <laughs> well, that implies... <laughs> That implies that Biden personified a cereal, which is even worse. The one cereal that what doesn't have a mascot. <laughs> Just a giant piece of corn. No Joe's eyes. Like sitting in his chair. No eyes, no mouth. It's, it's just a corn. <laughs> <laughs> it 
<laughs> so a piece of corn, muffled screaming. It's <laughs> <laughs> human legs and human arms. Dude, I'd run so fast. That's scary, dude. I would shoot myself, not gonna lie. I would lie. start crying. <laughs> Scream crying. <laughs> <laughs> My Good audacity didn't God. like that. <laughs> Send me to hell! That's better than here! <laughs> yeah, anyway, so, no, I'm not a good wine smell drinker. <laughs> the topic know. just spiraled it was off. Of. It was, no, no, it was beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, you I'm said, what does beer taste a, a like? Wines. And I was like, I don't know how to describe, like... Oh. Well, I think there's two. That's two genre of man. There's like the wine, oh, hints of rose. <laughs> that's cocaine. And then cocaine. There's, a, there's like a beer guy that's like, this tastes awful. <laughs> I don't think yeah, any beer guy is enjoying what they're drinking, dude. No, no, that, the Ugh. one beer guy in your group that's like, this is just awful. This tastes like cum. He's through like 12 of them already. He's just chugging away. <laughs> doing, yeah, shotgunning Dripping down whatever. the sides of his mouth. Ugh. Just Can't like cum. Enough. Anyway. Ugh. Bring me my 11th beer. <laughs> what? They're eating the cans and all. They're like, got to make sure I get all the spare or alcohol. Well, it's a whole, like, it's a whole fucking liter of alcohol, and it's like, you read the label, and it's like, 4% alcohol, and you're like, what? What's the rest? So, if I do the math correctly, <laughs> the rest I need a hundred more beers. <laughs> Literally, so it's like, I don't understand. I don't understand. They're like, I'd like to get drunk, but also drink a lot of, like, sewer water before I get drunk. <laughs> mm. Like, just do liquor. <laughs> Because liquor t- doesn't taste good, but at least you get drunk immediately, as I it's, found okay. out. As a non-drinker, is are there people that genuinely just want the goal to get like blacked out? That's they just... I, to my understanding. That's why anyone drinks beer to begin with. <laughs> I don't like. They're like, all right, let's speed it up. <laughs> Me, the part I butt chug when I'm trying to speed things up. So yeah, Let me I get mean, my funnel. <laughs> Well, that's why I never was a, that's not why I was never a drinker. Cause I was like, why would I do it unless I wanted to get drunk? Like there's no other reason to taste that. I it's thought not, it's not good enough. To, I thought maybe you just get a little out of your comfort zone. Uh, I'm a little loose. Let me start dancing on a table. No, I think that's fake. <laughs> honestly, the loose thing. I think that's just people will drink one so they can act a little weird. You know, it's like, that's just their excuse. Like, Oh, I'm, I'm a little they drink drunk. A beer and they're like, one time I sacrificed a goat, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Sorry, the, the, the twisted tea's really getting to my head. That guy's TikToks where he's like, your white friend after one truly, and he's like, oh, them monkeys out there. And he's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, that is the Midwest in a fucking nutshell. No, I don't know how not, many. Dude. Yes, stop, it is. No, not where you group, live. No, no, no. <laughs> You can't group the whole Midwest. No, Chicago's different. <laughs> Chicago's different. Chicago built different. <laughs> we have the bean. It's not just white people. <laughs> My grandfather made that bean. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother fabricated that bean. What was it called? Her. We looked it up that one day. What was it called? Like What's Millennium the Falcon or something. I don't know. <laughs> A child's dream. Fucking related. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. What is the Chicago Bean actually called? Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) What is the bean called? I will kill your entire family. (laughs) Cloud Gate is what it's called. (laughs) Pizza Gate. (laughs) Who built that? Literally, all you had to do was take a bean, Bean. scale it up in Blender, (laughs) 3D print it, and that guy said Cloud Gate. Why did... <clears throat> it it came out like after we were bored. I thought that was around since like the eighties, and that's yeah, like the ma- that, that's a real Mandela effect. You're like, you feel like that's been around for forever. Yeah, it's like no. one of last year. You're like, what, what kind of construction like are they doing on it? <laughs> what kind of construction are they doing on it right now? It's just if you peel back the tarp, it's just a bunch of like white naked dudes, <laughs> palms on it, going, uh, covered in blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and you're like, oh Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> They all snap their heads at the same time to your direction. You're like, oh, fuck, No ketchup on your hot dog. (laughs) Huh? (laughs) I'm on my way to my colonoscopy, dude. (laughs) You ever been drunk off a bottle of Fiji, my man? (laughs) What? Ooh, I get lightheaded. (laughs) 
Bill Gates crazy, dude. <laughs> every Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, he been... drinks a sparkling water and he's like, whoa. <laughs> the Sprite really hit <clears throat> I'm going to make another computer. <laughs> <laughs> computer 2.0. This one's just Bill. Calling, we're gonna we're gonna call it poot. <laughs> Bill, this Bill. one's finally gonna get my wife wet. <laughs> Bill, 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 your Did wife you, died ten that? years ago. <laughs> and I'm gonna make her wet once again. <laughs> I'm gonna reach right into that grave. Oh! I'll pull out that pelvis bone. Oh, stop! 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 <laughs> just the pelvis. Fuck foreplay. Am I right? <laughs> we are. This is what happens. It's been like ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so just to intro this at real quick. Oh, yeah, Allie hello, was, everyone. Al, Al, yeah, hi, everyone. Welcome to <laughs> the worst bullshit you have ever heard. Uh, if this is your first time... Mm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll, we'll take our dicks out of your ass now. Um, Allie was supposed to... Allie could make it today, actually. She wasn't actually in the hospital, like, last time. Oh. The difference this time was that I was sick, like, all this week. So I'm like getting better today. I've got a Kleenex box next to me because I'm dying. So today I'm I'm good enough, but I didn't want to get her sick. Considering that's how I got sick was people are coming into work again. People, people are coming are at work again. <laughs> so shoot much. loads on my face. Very shoot considerate. loads on my face into my open mouth as I'm swallowing. It's crazy. COVID in the comment. Oh, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm down bad. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> no, so she was, she was, I just like, yeah, at work, there were a bunch of people, like literally three separate people in cubicles coughing all day. And this thing I was volunteering at, I realized halfway through the night, the person sitting next to me, <clears throat> like coughing. I was like, That's cool. how, why do you go outside like this? And I was going to say something, but I was like trying to be normal. <laughs> hey dude, leave. <laughs> I will rip out your fucking balls. <laughs> Uh, why am I focused on balls today? I don't know, man. <laughs> Looking at my notepad, it's just a picture of hairy balls. I'm like, what's next? <laughs> Flip the page. Balls, balls, balls. 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Um, yeah, no, so that was... I, I should have said something because I'm immunosuppressed, but I didn't want to be like that guy. So I was like, I'll just scoot my chair back and I'll probably be fine. Uh, COVID, what is it? So, yeah. no, I got sick. So, uh, I realized I need to continue wearing masks in public now. I thought I could be normal, but I've been sick twice now in the last two months, and it's not Oof. gone well. Yeah. I still so, wear my yeah. mask. I don't know. Allie really couldn't. Care. And update on Juliana for everyone asking, which, by the way, just DM her. DM her every day. Not that it's going to do much, but, like, stop asking me. But, yeah, um, I don't know how much of us, how much of this she wanted us to share, but she's not here, so I'm just going to share as much as, I don't know, we feel comfortable with. Um, we got a Snapchat at some point. I don't know if it went to me or you or the, the podcast chat, but it was from her saying, well, in the ER, passed out, and we were like, oh. Huh? And then <laughs> well, the next I texted one, her when I got that. And yeah, and I called. I think reply. we both texted and called, and we <laughs> didn't, didn't get anything. <laughs> Which we figured, I mean, I like, she was in the yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude. <laughs> Oi, wake up out of your coma and pick up the fucking phone. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> no, but yeah, yeah, she's not here to make the sexist jokes, so it's up to us. <laughs> so you can just show your true colors? <laughs> <laughs> just the one color. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, I'm going to get cut so out of context at some point. <laughs> yeah, no, so then the next follow-up Snapchat was she said she almost went into a diabetic coma. They thought she actually wasn't going to make it for a second, but she was okay. They gave her all the, I don't know, hospital fluids and stuff. So she was just, she was on her phone Snapchatting us, just ignoring our text and calls. So, but I mean, like, I don't know, you're in the hospital bed, so I get that. But then after that, like, we didn't get anything. So we didn't know if she was still in the hospital. At this point, I'm in Colorado on my way back to St. Louis, and I was half considering flying to Seattle, which was fucking expensive. What the <laughs> hell? I've been to yeah. Seattle. It's nice, but it's not that special. It's holy shit. <laughs> Dude, there and back, not even there and back, because I would have been going from Colorado to Seattle to home, would have mm -hmm. costed me an extra $800 for a coach <laughs> seat. On a random like 5 a.m. flight, that is crazy. Who yeah, has the no. money to do that? No. And I was fully willing to spend it if she was still in the hospital, but like I, we didn't know, and I wasn't gonna fly there without knowing. 
Yeah. And at some point I realized I have John's number, which is like saying, I have a F- Brock's phone number. So it's not going to do a whole lot. But I decided to, to text him anyway. And I was like, hey, we heard that she was in the hospital and she went – she was – I like passed out and wasn't doing really well. Can you, like, is she still there? Is she home? And he basically just said that she was home and he's like, everything's fine. We're like, I don't think so. I'm no doctor or wine taster, but my <laughs> spider sense tells me diabetic coma would not have been good since she doesn't even have diabetes. Uh, yeah. So that's all we've gotten and no responses on text calls. And I and John was like, I don't know, man. Just ask her. I was like, Why do you think I'm fucking talking to you? <laughs> For the pleasantries, I'm being mean because I'm pissed. I hate that everybody's <laughs> sick. Anyway, so she made it home. I honestly don't even. I actually. When's the last time we've seen a snap from her? Honestly, it's. I got one today. Me. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I don't want to say more without having to cut things out. So we're just gonna <laughs> move on. <laughs> Take a sip of this truly and keep it chugging. I guess I, we sound like such. Come asshole, back in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, you look Before at the time the clock and it skips gone. like an hour. Yeah, I have like twelve truly stacked. And another me. thing, I'm like, oh, I love her so much. I miss her. I'm sorry. What if I did anything to push you away? <laughs> Nick's been logged off for a while. It's just a cardboard cutout of him. Just, <laughs> I'm like, that's right, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so that was that update. Um, the Xbox is going to Fohawk. Um, our patron. It went down the Ooh. line a couple times. Oh, um, yeah, that's right. That I was, was fully first... ready to send it to um, our Australian patron, and they were like, oh, don't worry about it. Just send it to someone that needs it. And I was like, it's really yours if you want it. And they were like, no, you're fine. Go ahead and send it to someone else. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. But, I mean, shipping that bitch to Australia would have been terrible i would have just bought like i would have just bought them an xbox there because there's no way i was shipping that thing heavy ass box i drop off a fedex i'm like it's air (laughs) don't worry about what's in it (laughs) heavy air it's hydrogen wait no it's uh i don't know i don't i don't read the periodic table of elements (laughs) it's the lightest air (laughs) i'm stupid the box is floating (laughs) i did engineering school i don't know what it's bradium (laughs) The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Fohawk is the, was the next one on the on the, the spinner list. They were very Ooh. happy to receive it, and um, they have a young child, so that will I'm sure bring some great memories. Until He's that kid's like, life. "This is an old Xbox. I want the update." <laughs> <laughs> and then you kill him and make another one. They're gonna neglect their child, dude. <laughs> That's what you provided for them. <laughs> uh. That kid ain't going to get a hug from dad for three weeks at least. Uh. Shut up, kid. I'm gaming. Shut up, you cumpad. I'm watch gaming. The, watch this dub. <laughs> now watch this drive. Uh. Anyway, oh, the other thing I confirmed was that someone messaged us and said that they got pulled over to listening to our podcast. <clears throat> and we kind of oh. thought that was fake. That was real. They got pulled over for something. And when the cop like, came to the window, the podcast was playing because they were too nervous to shut it off. And he was like, oh. all right. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Probably. I, I hope it was at the part where I was saying to fuck cops because they're pigs. I hope that was the part. They were he gets hit with so many ticket violations. <laughs> oh, I thought you were to say so many bullets. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Damn. <Jesus>. Yeah, their, <laughs> their family messages me. Fuck your podcast. <laughs> That podcast killed my son. Um, and then the next thing on here was honestly three episodes old. I somehow just missed it each time. I don't know if it'll be even funny. I need to go back here and look. So a while ago, if you remember, my Instagram was fucking forced private because I said the word cracker, which just made every Trump be supporter careful. calm their cracker pants. And Stop. Um, so, yeah. So I asked everybody. So I'm pushing the limits here. I asked my broadcast channel on Instagram a new substitute for the word cracker. What can we call – what's a slur we can call white people instead? <clears throat> and I have not read through any of these. I just kind of want to see if any of these are funny. I'm just going to speed through them. <laughs> if we if you hit anything you want to mention, go for it. <laughs> okay, so we got unseasoned chicken, unmelanated miscreant, export soda, pigmentally challenged, 
Dry biscuit, pale human, mayo monkey, spiceless, breadcrumb, gas tank, battery acid, Ritz cracker. Oh, there, it can't use cracker. Oh. First move in chess, people. <laughs> Saltine, heterosexual cousin of tortilla chips. Whitey. That's an actual slur. White boy. You could use the British term biscuit. Thank you. Baked baked flour snack. Salty cookie. Hard bread Percocet. Lego gear. Are you calling someone Percocet? <laughs> what up, Perk? <laughs> You're, you dumb little fucking Percocet. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> One is C-R-A. I don't know what that means. Cra. Cra. Oh, it's the beginning of Cracker. I'm stupid. Uh, scone, Wonder Bread, Default. I like Default. Biscuit. Whoa, that's close to another word. We're not doing that. Um, crunchy Thing. <laughs> Cinder Block, Colby, Fern, Fully Grown Sperm Cell. <sighs> crack. <laughs> <laughs> the drug <laughs> in the sidewalk croutons ooh cream cunt that's a good one <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> me the virgin what a funny word anyway <clears throat> cotton ball that one before. yeah me sending a <laughs> screenshot to Nick of learning what munch means <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that happened last night. <laughs> so, last night! Was, was it last night? Was it today? When was this? Yeah, someone called me that, and I was like, I don't know what that means. Hold on, let me pull, <laughs> yeah, my, let me pull my mouth back from your pussy and Google that. <clears throat> White asbestos, non-specific crunchy snack food, dry breadcrumb, British thunder cunt, okay, plap, white demon, that's iterative, mayo crusader, the crunchy... Drywall, spice control, neck, those weird things up in England, albino chimp, corny Christian, saltless swine, dry bagel, Keebler elf. <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Ooh, Bicky. Mm, that sounds, sounds like an act. Quest- yeah, it ah. sounds like, yeah. Oh, you know what? I looked this one up because it sounded questionable, and it's British slang for a biscuit. Bicky. Mm. So we'll, that one actually sounds like a slur. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You, you know the video fucking of, uh, bakey. You know that one video of Chris Pratt when he's talking about like Koopas for the Super Mario Brothers movie? No. <laughs> he says it like a slur and it's crazy. <laughs> what? I'm over here stopping on Koopas. <laughs> he just says it so like <laughs> Koopas. <Isn't> that... <laughs> Dude, he's Garfield. Can you believe that? My gosh. I'm over here. He didn't eating even lasagnas. <laughs> He didn't even try to do a different voice. It's just Chris it's just Pratt. Chris Pratt, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know who. My mom, these lasagnas really wetting my whiskers. You're like, oh, oh, oh okay. my kids are gonna kill themselves. Um, anyway, that's that's pretty much most of these. But thank you guys for submitting them. I'm sorry it took me fucking five weeks to read them. Oh. Hard square. I like, fact, I like the fact that you just glossed over the fact that you messaged me what's a munch last night. <laughs> I didn't say that. Anyway, milk skin was the other one. <laughs> this isn't even a story. <laughs> this is so pathetic. So if you don't know me, um, I need like one other friend wherever I'm at. Then I'm okay. I'm like relaxed. I'll be fun. Okay. But if I'm by myself, I am so nervous it's crazy. I'm overthinking like everything I'm doing. I'm trying to have like not resting bitch face. Like I'm just like, <laughs> but not too crazy. <laughs> Beer, huh? <laughs> Wine. Mm. <laughs> just dropping out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm not even moving my face. It's just dripping to the floor. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, our apartment emailed us all and they were like hey we're having a karaoke night in the like the lounge area come on down if you want to like join i was like oh this might be a nice opportunity (laughs) right so (laughs) i emailed back a like a sound bite just (laughs) 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 oh brother yeah So I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe this would be a good point to, like, meet some people in my apartment. Because, like, I've been wanting to meet other people around, but no one here is, like, super talkative. Um, Except the guards. They're all great. 
Um, but anyway, so I went down there, but I was the only, like, I don't know anyone else there. So, okay. I mean, it's a tiny room, which is packed with people. And the only people doing karaoke is the fucking staff. Uh, so, and it's not even like, okay, who's next? It's not even like there's a lineup. You're just like, hogging the mic. <laughs> they are literally just doing it continuously. And everyone else is kind of just sitting there, like, eating food. Is um, it okay? No! <laughs> yeah. Put on... Put on Britney Spears next. <laughs> uh, and and then, and then like the the white. So I I don't want to be mean. Someone on staff who I haven't met before, um, okay. the the whitest bitch came up after like a bunch of like like good mixed songs, and then she put on like the most country ass piece of shit. Uh, anyway, so that happened. Old beer but, on a Friday but, night. Like, <laughs> that was the song. <laughs> Oh, no. Uh, jeans that fit just right. <laughs> and the radio on, will on. I see so oh, light. No. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. So I'm in this room. And, like, different groups of people actually know each other. So I feel like I'm kind of one of the only people that doesn't. Even Like, there are couples there. They don't know anyone else. But they're a couple. So they know okay. each other. <laughs> so I'm there on my At own. At least we have each kinda... other, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I lean between them both. That's cute. <laughs> you need a third. <laughs> <laughs> you want someone to watch. <laughs> I'm what some people might call a a munch. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I'm what rapper Ice Spice calls. <laughs> You know, <laughs> do you guys know Ice Spice? <laughs> That's all I say. Hey, you guys know Ice Spice? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm like sweating under their shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I am the most embarrassing white man ever to exist. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm like on my own and back eating my little plate of fucking <laughs> crackers and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> And sh- I, I just like wanted to, to shout out. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> or as I like to call it a feast. Um, so I'm in back there, and I notice all of a sudden this this like kid comes up around the back. He's like playing at the foosball table that's like next to me, and mm. he, full of all the beautiful confidence in the world, just full on starts talking to me. Um, and he's like, "So you lived in? A- I'm not gonna do the accent, but he's like, so you've lived <laughs> you've lived in America your whole life." And I was like, yeah. yeah mm. I, and he was like, wow, that's that's a long time. I was like, you're funny, kid. All right, dude. <laughs> and like we made a little bit of small, but he was just like, I'm 10. And you're like, nice. That's really cool. Like, how's school going? You know, things like that. Mm-hmm. So it, it just, I thought it was so adorable that he, brave out of his heart, just started talking to this random guy in the back. I was like, I don't know. Stranger I thought that danger, was nice. dude. That just tells you he's poor <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, then no, I gave I'm him a st- gun and drugs stop stop <laughs> <laughs> so then I gave him a kilo for free <laughs> oh, the kilo is too much is sorry to be kilo is like a kilo, fucking dude. prick <laughs> kilo is like five pounds isn't it <laughs> take this kid it'll kill you <laughs> <laughs> gee thanks mister oh gee you golly my foot <laughs> Mix it into your parents' drinks. <laughs> Watch them act funny. It's like Kool-Aid. <laughs> Watch them die. <laughs> Watch their lungs burn. <laughs> what? Watch the blood burst out of their eyes. <laughs> anyway, how about this karaoke, huh? <laughs> yeah, he was like, are you going to go up and sing something? I was like, I, I didn't think I'm too embarrassed. I was like, are you? And you- he was like, oh, no, no. I was like, what song would you sing? And he was like, oh, I like the SpongeBob theme song. I think I would sing that. And I was like, dude, life is going to get so much worse from here. Dude, Just enjoy these moments pathetic. while you can. <laughs> Loser, silly, goofy ass. <laughs> you're too silly. <laughs> you Grow think up, I don't dog. have friends, dude? Do you know who I am? <laughs> well, let me show you something. <laughs> let me show you my King Julian impression. <laughs> That's not offensive. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess he, he said his family had moved from like India straight to St. Louis. I was like, oh, golly. Ah, uh, sorry. Were they okay? Yeah, so you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
So I just thought that was really cute. I was like, oh, I left and I just was, I thought it was really wholesome that the one person that yeah. talked to me that entire night was this happy little kid. Anyway, I hope he's okay. He's talking to weird people. He really shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of hoping he's okay. Anyway, <laughs> what's next on this fucking list? Um, things that happened to me. Oh, I bought a new car. That was fun. Yeah, first car I've ever like bought because the other one I had for the last like the other one I stole. Years. <laughs> yeah, the other one I stole from that Indian family. <laughs> they had no way to leave anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was it was a 2006 Honda Accord, right in an in between year where they didn't have a tape player and they didn't have Bluetooth, so you just had a fucking CD player nice. and no way to play music from your phone. So you nope. either you either could do an FM transmitter, which just meant it was, yeah, no. which meant you were hearing the devil in the background, <laughs> or listening to Ed Sheeran. What's the difference? Um, <laughs> wow, so, I'm still in hell. <laughs> that moment when Ed Sheeran's song ends and you realize you're still in hell. <laughs> There's a meme where it's like. Whenever someone dies, they start playing their music. So please protect Ed Sheeran at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to hear that music. Please protect Logic at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> what was his suicide song? I forgot already. I don't want to die. Yeah, yeah. I just want to be alive. I just want to be alive. <laughs> Well, get one light. <laughs> yeah. It worked, though, because people were like, oh, dude, suicide's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm not going to kill myself. That's disgusting. <laughs> this, <Ugh>. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> I don't want him to put me in a music video. Can you imagine if his music video was just pictures of people committed suicide? <laughs> These people tried. <laughs> Failures. <Dude>, what? <laughs> Try again next time, bud. Uh, anyway, why am I talking about this? I bought a car, right? <laughs> okay. So for the first time ever since I've had a car, I've been able to play music full through the speakers in the car. Oh, it was fucking glorious. Now I can finally catch up on all the music that I missed from my childhood, like Party in the USA. <laughs> You're back in like 2008. <laughs> this Call Me Maybe shit is really hitting off. This is, this is catchy, dude. <laughs> Have you heard of Brittany Spears? <laughs> Wild. <laughs> CeeLo Green. <laughs> Hope he doesn't do anything terrible. <laughs> Wait, did he? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what did he do? There's a reason oh, you don't no. hear from CeeLo Green anymore, dude. <laughs> I wondered why. <laughs> Other than the fact that I couldn't listen to any music. But... Uh, October 30th, 2012, Green was accused of sexual battery by a woman who... He denied at a Los Angeles restaurant. Uh, the first article that popped up was CeeLo Green sparks... Oh, he speaks on highly irresponsible rape tweets. Oh, he oh. tweeted out, it isn't rape if the victim is unconscious. He tweeted that? He no, tweeted he that. No way. CeeLo Green apologizes for Twitter rape remarks. Damn, that sucks. Wow. All right. Um, Surprise. I'm sorry. I terrible. thought you knew. <laughs> Just assume I don't know anything. If we've learned anything through this entire podcast, it's that I don't know shit. Oh, speaking of shit that I don't know, someone <clears throat> commented on our podcast, but it was an older episode, so I wasn't going to be able to hit it. But let me find it. They. <clears throat> oh, by the way, someone just DM'd me Midwestern whore. <laughs> I was okay. so complimented by that. Someone DM'd me on, I think I, I told you this, but someone DM'd me on Snapchat and they just said brown. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? It's the same dude that said gracias at your Halloween door. <laughs> that, that like little seven-year-old boy. No. <laughs> yeah, I found him. <clears throat> they said, if I had to summarize this podcast, I'd play the segment of this episode where Juliana is singing a Disney Channel theme song like an insane person while Nick tells Daniel to kill himself over a crush. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that happening. <laughs> I do every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your crush? Who did you say you had a crush on? This was this was this was like ten episodes ago. So I crush on so many people. <clears throat> CeeLo, sorry. Um, <laughs> little did I know. 
What an awful, shoot, no fucking clue. I'm just gonna assume that every artist I haven't heard about in like 10 years has done something awful. What has Owl City done? Have they done something awful? Did they? <laughs> yeah, make music. <laughs> <laughs> Owl City. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, it's always a good time. <laughs> whoa, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> good morning and good night. <laughs> Whew, all right. That, that's a highlight right there. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, I followed Snoop Dogg for about 10 minutes before I got so <laughs> before I got so fucking annoyed at all these dog shit grainy ass memes that I fucking unfollowed and blocked. <laughs> Good you lord. Block Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I didn't block him. But dude, all it was was memes. And it memes that weren't his. It was just like this guy on a bulldozer. Damn. You're like what? <laughs> The fuck are Dude, you he announced. About? I think it was yesterday. He announced that he was quitting smoking. Yeah, I saw. That? Was that a joke though? I thought that was a joke. And he's like, "Please respect my privacy." And then today he put out another statement saying he was high when he wrote that. <laughs> he said he was high, and he's like, "I, I don't think I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest shit. I'm gonna follow him again. I I don't, what the two days I unfollowed him? That's what happened. <laughs> Actual funny shit? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn it, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoopy. <laughs> Oof. All right. I'm sweating. No problem. What the fuck was I even talking? So I bought a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bought a car, yeah. dude. <laughs> so I've been poor. For not. I'm, I'm not like saying I've been poor, poor. But like, I, you, you know me. I'm eating peas and shit. I still haven't quite worked up to the fact that I have money now. So I drive my car there. We make the sale. I, we're like, I'm taking stuff out of my old car to my new car. And mm -hmm. I hesitate for a solid 10 seconds staring at that little dusty ass change bin in the old car. Like I should take all the coins. All of the, I mean, it's, it's money, dude. It's full of pennies and dimes. Not Who quarters. Just quarters. It's... I would have full taken the whole thing. Uh, still, but dude. Dimes. I kind of felt bad. I am like... also poor. <laughs> <laughs> well, after I just spent thousands of dollars on a car, I didn't want to be like, yeah, go to Let me take back. that dollar. Yeah, I would. So you were actually with me on this. I thought you were gonna make fun of me for it. No, I take my money back. It's money, dude. Okay. There have been so many chances. I want to go so back now. <laughs> you left it. Yeah. I didn't want. I like didn't want to look like a fucking moron. I was embarrassed. You sold the car with money in it. <laughs> you look like a moron. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> I learned so much when Nick is on the call. <laughs> and then, uh, so the drive home, you know, I ate by myself at a Red Robin like a dad on alimony. Cool. That's and then <laughs> um, almost got fully plowed into the ditch by a semi. You know, like these things, like, oh, you know, you notice these things more when you get a new car. No, this I was, was about the to only ask time. You, I was about to the ask only time, you, uh, con. <laughs> so the only time I've driven in this city for years, a lot of crazy ass traffic, a lot of close calls, a lot of mm -hmm. wild shit. This was the, I think the wildest thing. I was just driving in my lane with this oh, cruise control. It's so nice to have cruise control. My my old car, the cruise control button stopped working years ago, so I jammed a toothpick in the button, so That's it was just on good. constantly. <laughs> Is that Always legal? 55 miles an hour. <laughs> and that's how I sold it to him, so. <clears throat> the toothpick's still in. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to get that toothpick. No, well, because I jammed it in there, but it's not sticking out. Like, I broke off the rest of the toothpick, so it's just like. That's even worse. Jammed in there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> It'll cost them a full two dollars and fifty cents to get out, which I conveniently left in the change jar. <clears throat> no, so I was driving and I'm in the right lane. I'm coming up on a semi and like I'm gonna pass them, but then they they it was just a series of weird coincidences. So he pulls in the left lane and slows down immediately, and I was close enough at this point that by the time he gets in the left lane, he's already like starting to get next to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 
But what he, the reason he moved over is because there's a cop in the shoulder, like, already with somebody. But, I mean, it's a large shoulder. He's way off the shoulder. The semi's already practically next to me. I'm like, I'm not going to move. No one's out here. It's like 8 p.m. at night. So I keep going the same exact fucking speed that I was driving. <clears throat> and as I start to pass the semi at the speed I was already going, I genuinely, he was, you know, semi, some semi drivers do not like it when you pass them in the right lane. He yeah. was so mad that I was passing him in the right lane that he, no turn signal, no nothing, starts to just pull, like, <laughs> run me off the road. And if I wasn't a good driver, it would have, I would have killed the cop and the person sitting there. That dude did not give a shit. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. Nice. So he, I, I was an inch from him just full on slamming my car into a spiral. I killed the truck driver. <laughs> I pulled up and shot that motherfucker. <laughs> Sideways gun, everything just <laughs> through my brand new window. No, not through the window because this window actually goes down. Oh. My car was falling apart. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even joking. This sounds like corny. Leaving the lot, I was just like, staring at my old car and i was like starting to like tear up i was like getting upset i was like i've been through so much much with this car we have my all of my awful life has been spent in this car i've auditioned for so many things in that car i sang all the time in the car that's where i tried voice impressions for the first time i had it when i was like 16 that's how i got to fucking high school you're in high school and you're yeah and you're 16 you're in high school right um yeah like that, my whole life has been in this car. So I was, yeah, I was like, I got to leave before I start fucking crying. So I'm like. It's the end of an like, era, anyway, dude. It's the closest I could come instead of, well, I could have came on him. <laughs> I pull up next to him. You. I put it next to him, put it in cruise. I start jacking off into the open window. <laughs> I'm going to come on your truck. <laughs> hey, man, what the fuck? That would have been the most boss thing. Because that would have been just so fucking insane. The guy Only like, insane. Whoa, dude. And he would have killed exactly. <laughs> he would have been telling that story for the rest of his life. He He's would have been on his racist ass deathbed. <laughs> they would be like, Grandpa, we're here. He'd be like, that reminds me of the time that guy put it in cruise by himself and started checking off through his window onto my truck with a cop there. Yeah, okay, okay, Grandpa, go to Okay, bed. Grandpa, die already. We're going to pull the plug, all right? We never liked you anyway. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, full on. I have never had someone actually like... That, I mean, that's like manslaughter, isn't it? Whatever premeditated murder is, I've never had someone premeditate murder me. That is crazy. And if I hadn't done the defensive driving I did, full mm-hmm. on, I think, would have just plowed directly into that cop. That is crazy. Yikes. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Jesus. And after I plowed into the cop car, he still would have shot the black dude he pulled over. <laughs> anyway, we love cops. Um, so that was that. Um, do you have any stories from your last two weeks? Before I jump into the rest of my stupid life. Um, you never put there's... any topics in the chat. I just want everyone to know I don't purposely talk over you guys. No, yeah, I know. Just I don't just put anything it. in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel needs to plan. <laughs> Lame. I think there is a there's a big chance. I don't know if this is a flex or not, but there's a big chance that uh, Doja Cat noticed me on Instagram. Really? And it's for the... Wait, noticed you where? (laughs) In her comment section. Doja Cat posted a video of her and a bunch of people. They're dancing at like some after party thing. And everyone's like having a good time. It's like, I want to be there. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) No, so Doja Cat captioned the post. These people are all paid actors. In real life, I'm very mean and rude and a piece of shit. That's what she captioned it. So I replied to that post. (laughs) I, I went on Instagram and it was it was uploaded like uploaded fourteen seconds ago and I'm like oh okay perfect oh. opportunity, so I commented, this is fake. One time I met Doja Cat at a gas station and she stole one of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought like oh that comment's just gonna get lost. You're cute. And, and I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> within within an hour I had one thousand likes and I'm like oh okay nice. Uh, as of right now it's at six thousand three hundred and ninety eight uh, likes. <laughs> yeah, I always screenshot, like, verify people that like my videos, and I send you screenshots. I'm like, do you know this person? Because I don't know oh, who yeah, the fuck I'm them. talking about. I sent you one today. I was like, who the hell's this? And you were like, um, Bella Thorne's sister. I was like, oh, <laughs> I bet she liked the BDSM video I posted. Good. <laughs> not, oh, hold on, hold on. Not actual BDSM. Just not to get your hopes Daniel up. Daniel has an alt account? <laughs> 
not to get you hard on the highway at 6 a.m. Okay, follow me, follow me at Daniel's Dungeon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bella Thorne's sister follows me on that one. <laughs> no, no, okay, so a couple funny things in Colorado, other than just I enjoyed filming the videos and making a general ass of myself. There was somebody that literally stopped me. Like, we we were in line somewhere, and just like, oh, hey, you have no, you know, like the general interaction you have with people. And they took a second look, and they were like, don't I know you from somewhere? And as we know, I've gotten this enough now, like more than 20 times. Mm -hmm. I assume where this is coming from, and I'm like, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, from like TikTok or something. I don't know. Like, I'm, because I, I don't want to just play dumb, because then it just lasts forever. You know, and I don't want to like be a dick. I don't want to be a dick either. But so I don't, I'm not, I never bring this up. Right. But so that, but she's like, don't I know you from somewhere? And I was like, oh, I, uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, internet, I guess. I don't know. And, and she was like, oh no, I meant like, I was going to say in my dreams, it was a pickup line. And I was like, ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> promoting your podcast <laughs> yeah i felt like such an asshole that she's like don't i know you from somewhere and i'm like oh i don't know tiktok and she was like from my dreams okay anyway you're but an never asshole mind. actually it's my nightmares <laughs> dude oh my uh, god dude i was cringing out of my skin we had a nice conversation and like she didn't know that i didn't live there so we just had a nice conversation went our ways and all that <laughs> what an asshole thing to say <laughs> maybe you would have seen me from uh <laughs> i don't know you heard about uh, venom <laughs> oh, no gosh, my dreams so <laughs> fucking funny every other time i've played dumb and this one time i was like trying to help out a little bit the one time they were like i don't know what the fuck you're talking about dude <laughs> and then the only other thing i had was you know who delaney Rowe is it sounds familiar, but I don't she's know. The, she's the, um, the like, I don't even know her official job title, so no one, like, yell at me. D jo uh, model actress, comedian, I don't know, um, on TikTok and stuff that makes all the videos, like, that are, like, that woman that does this, like, or that guy that does this, sense. like, like, she purposely acts so annoying that, like, you're cringing out of your skin, but that's the joke, you know? <clears throat> so it'll be, like... The person like that, that Karen that's like secretly racist at the coffee shop and just like the most bubbly, annoying fucking shit. You know what I mean? Like that kind of stuff. I don't know how to describe it. Really funny, but just fucking hard to watch on purpose. Right. <laughs> I know who this and is. Was, very yeah, familiar. I found, I, I've, seen, I've yeah. seen a few of these. Her stuff's They're hilarious. I looked, I looked at, oh, fair, yeah. I mean, it's to the point where I'm like, do people like meet you? Are people like worried to meet you in public? Because like you personify this so well. You've done so many different thing. variations of this. You're such a horrible person. <laughs> no, no, no. So the reason I mentioned her is because we were getting back from the airport. I was in St. Louis now. And I get on the shuttle to go back to the parking lot that they take that I'm parked in. Mm -hmm. And there is a per – keep in mind, this is at like midnight. No one on this bus is awake. We are all dying and tired and annoyed. And there is that woman on this bus – with this poor child that she has that is just, he looks like he wants to just slit his own throat. And she is like, oh, a little crammed on here, aren't we? <laughs> wow, packed in like sardines. Sardines like on a pizza. People do that. Isn't that disgusting? How terrible. Anyway, wow, I, this is why I brought my coffee. Never awake and talk to me until you have my coffee and all this stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> Not the actress, but a physical woman that's just like that. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, okay, if it so was her... I would have fallen to my knees. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a horrible woman. Yeah, yeah. This was this was the this this person, real person, That's reminded me of worse. the people that she parodies. <laughs> right. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. If it was the God. actual person, I would have freaked out. Yeah, that would have been crazy. I would have been like, "Fucking sign my back." I don't know. <laughs> You're not wearing a shirt. Do I'm it anyway. Tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> I hand her a tattoo gun, please. For the love of God. <laughs> No, no, it was an actual person, and oh. seeing her talk, it felt like I was in one of this, and felt, I felt like I was in one of Delaney's skits, because she was just off the rails, oh. and it was crazy, and she was, like, sipping this coffee, and she was, and she was talking, about, I thought she was talking to a friend, it was just someone else on the bus, because I'm barely listening, I'm just zonking out, and it takes a lot for me to, like, <laughs> cringe in public, because I'm really good at, like, 
holding that back. She's sitting like almost right next to me. And things that she's saying, I, everyone around on the bus can see me. I'm just going, <sighs> I'm just making those faces. And like my hands are like clenching. I'm like, oh, golly. Like, I'm just, I can't oh, stand it. Oh, no. And she's talking to this person. She's like, so then I was just, I was like, George, you can't take off your pants at the reunion. <laughs> Who even does that? What a crazy Uncle Mark thing to do. This is the stuff she's fucking talking about. <laughs> Calling him George and then saying Uncle Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We don't, know, we don't know who this bitch is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just on drugs and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I lean over and I do the Nick thing. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Dude. Oh, <laughs> As I'm God. stabbing her in the gut. No, so she at some point. So the way she's talking, I know in my brain. You just know. I'm like, she is a raging asshole. I just know this. She acts like she's all perky and whatever, but she's a cunt. I just know it. I'm sorry. And I'm just saying it. And so at some point she leaves, the, she, she finds her stop. Oh, this is us. <laughs> wow. Man, if I wasn't awake, I would have missed that turn. All right. How do you do? Bye, everybody. Have a great, you know, whatever. She's like, man, good thing I had my coffee. Mentions the fucking coffee again. She gets off the bus. Oh. She gets off the bus. And everyone applauds. And, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yup. <laughs> yup. It was a wild thing where we all, it was a fun little bonding experience for all of us on the rest of the bus. Oh, because she left and she, the last thing she said, whatever it was, I couldn't help but laugh. So I just smiled and whatever. And the dude across from me, this old dude that's been pissed the whole time. <laughs> Breaks out in the biggest smile. <laughs> breaks out in the biggest smile, and he goes, "I wonder if she had any fucking coffee." <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, everybody on the bus, including the bus driver, starts cracking. You know laughing. what's crazy? Like, is she's she's and, probably like super, just not self aware. Just she probably oh, she's, thinks she's, she's enjoyed it. Oh, people, wait, it's not done. The story's oh, not over. No, 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 no. You can tell by the way she talks that she's annoying, and there was there was a good reason to hate her. I had that vibe. I it was confirmed later on. So hold on. So everyone on the bus starts laughing and throwing out jabs, like they were like, oh, "I thought she'd never fucking leave and shit like that." <laughs> so fucking oh, funny, Americans. right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> uh, but so I get out. I, I get to my spot. I find my car. And okay. I'm on my way out, and I didn't. I I've got the video saved in my phone, I think. But on my way out, this per, there's somebody in another kiosk lane, mm -hmm. and they're not making it through. So at some point, I can see an arm like motioning, and the, the worker comes out, um, this older black woman, and it makes a difference because of the way that she was talking to her. And I'm pretty sure she said a slur after I stopped filming, and I was like, damn it, how can I not get that on camera? <laughs> but because I was going to send it to parking spot or whoever, because they had her on camera, this person. Anyway, mm -hmm. she is just yelling at this this poor worker. It's midnight. And she didn't. All you got to do is scan a fucking QR code to get out that you had on your fucking app. She is in the wrong fucking lot somehow. And this woman is literally like, just turn around and go back out to this other exit way. And mm -hmm. she you you think you would have asked her to just like. Cut herself Kill her open. own child. <laughs> she would have rather done that, honestly. That kid about killed himself. This kid's in this car miserable. I felt so bad for this kid. Oh, no. She is just Karen yelling at this poor worker the whole way as I'm – because she's like next to my car. So I can hear her as I'm walking out to my car, get in my car, leave because I go in another fucking kiosk lane. That's all I had to do. And I, it was just such a wild thing that I was like, well, confirmed – um, uh, vibes on that person. person. Nice. Yeah, confirm she's just a, a raging alcoholic. That's hilarious. <laughs> Felt so bad for that worker. I had, I didn't know what to do because they were far enough away. I I didn't want to like because I'm leaving right, so I don't hey. want to just make it. I don't want to make it worse for that worker. I don't want to be like, hey, quit being a fucking bitch because then she's just gonna yell more at the worker, right? Because I'm leaving mm -hmm. and that worker's gonna be like, thanks a lot, dude. Don't I know him from somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. So, <laughs> well, actually, I'm in your dreams <laughs> and walls. Anyway, yeah. So I didn't want to make I it worse. Even there, <laughs> she, she wasn't like touching. If she like shoved her or something, I would have gotten on my car and like tried to help. Yeah. She was just, oh, you, you saying I have to go over here now after all the time I've spent doing that? Uh, oh my gosh, dude. dude! Just fucking. Leave. Oh my god! <laughs> cool. What an awful person. Uh, I don't know. Should, do you want to talk? Do, should I talk about the profile picture situation? Is that funny? 
I I would. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's just a weird little weird little set of crazy <laughs> coincidences. I'm my hair looks terrible. So, um, I'm just doing my thing one day, and someone DMs me a screenshot from their email. It is a screenshot of a collage that um, what's it called? Um, is it? It wasn't Tumblr. What? Oh, Pinterest. What am I thinking of? Pinterest. Yeah, not Tumblr. I got porn sent to me. Um, <laughs> That, that is the porn one, right? Tumblr? Yeah. I don't know. Not anymore. <laughs> so Pinterest, yeah, it was a screenshot of a marketing bulk email that this person got from um, Pinterest. So not even like directed to this person. It's just the email they sent everybody. It's just a collage of random shit that they pulled from their website that day. And in the screenshot is a better sketched version of my fucking profile picture. And they were like, that looks familiar. And I was like, where the hell did you get this? And they explained it to me. They found the link. They sent me the link. So I went to the link. I was searching, searching, scrolling, found the picture. Pinterest is fucking weird. It's so fucking annoying. It, there's no regular brain way to go about this app. It's garbage. So I click on it's the picture. Like it's moms. <laughs> yeah. It's like reposted from another person. I go to that person. and It's reposted from another thing. <laughs> right. And so that original person's name is... C Mark, I forget what his name is. It's like something, something Cameron Mark Art, I think is his name or something. And so I was like, all right, that let me look this person up. So I Google that that at name, and an Instagram comes up, and I go to that person's Instagram. They have like three hundred thousand thousand followers, so they're big, they're verified. And I scroll through their their page. They have a lot of really cool stuff. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. I'm scrolling for like a while, and I hit, I finally hit it. From 2018, that's where my profile picture came from. There it is. Bright as day, like more detail. Like you can tell that was the original. There's more of the torso than there is in my profile picture. And so, and it's from, because it's from 2018, I didn't even start posting videos to the internet until 2019. Yeah. So this was a whole year before I even started on the internet. And I didn't even get this profile picture until like a year and a half, two years ago. So, um... (laughs) Yeah, so I realized, shocked in this moment, I called Nick. I'm in Colorado at the moment. I called Nick on the side of a mountain. Uh, and I was like, and I I feel bad ever calling Nick. Um, so Don't, he's dude. always like, just call me. But so because yeah. I called, I feel like Nick was like, is he dead? Yeah, <laughs> like, no, when I see that, like, out of nowhere, I'm like, oh, no, something happened. <laughs> Yeah. Which something did happen, but... <laughs> yeah, but not... Yeah. So I, you picked up, and I'm like, Nick, nothing bad happened, but I have to tell you this. And I just shared the whole wild-ass story. Yeah. So anyway, found out that the, uh, the commission I paid for that profile picture was um was uh, heavily inspired by someone else. Um, Line trace. Yeah. To, um, to this person's credit, because um, I don't want to like slam them. They're a nice person. And they do actually do art. I've seen their stuff, so that's why I never... I mean, they did draw the profile picture, right? Um, but this all came from uh, years ago. I guess this would have been 2019 when Byte was a thing, uh-huh. when we followed each other on Byte. And, I, and, they, and they did um, like a picture of me. Like just a cartoon of me. And that's what I remembered from. So whenever I asked them for this picture a year and a half, two years ago, I was like, hey, I have a vague memory of you making like a fun little doodle on Byte of me. Like, could you maybe update it, redo it? Um, I was thinking of buying it as a commission for a profile picture. And they were like, sure. And that was it. No details, no nothing. They just sent it to me. I yep. bought it. We, they were literally like, yup. I even made a post two weeks ago for International Artist Day. <laughs> Shouting them out! And I was like, and she was the first person I mentioned. And I was like, this cool original art. And this dude Cameron must have been fucking flaming if he saw that. Um, so, yeah. And they didn't say anything then. They didn't say anything then either. They just sent me a DM with a little, like, thank you hands thing. And I was like, nice. Mm. I wondered why they didn't comment it. Uh, maybe I know now. I don't know. So, yeah. So that was taken. So I'm going to be getting a new one. Um, we'll see where it comes from. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's the story there. That's Dude, the amount of research I did to find that was stolen is crazy. You dug crazy. deep, because that was, what, 2017 when he made that? 2018. 2018. Yeah. And it's not, oh, God, it's not even like – the artist doesn't even say who it is. 
It's not anybody. He just made that up. He, he just said, oh, I draw men. Or he something. just, no, no, like, well, normally he draws women. So that caption, he was like, I draw men sometimes. And it was that picture. And it's really good. You know what's wild? So Garrett Watts is a mutual of mine. We talk several times. Again, he commented on this 2018. I don't expect him to remember. But he commented on that post in 2018 and said, wow, who is this? He's gorgeous. Yeah, he's so <laughs> Who is he? With little hard eyes. Little did he know it was me. <laughs> Except it wasn't. <laughs> so that's probably why he followed me in the first place. He's like, this hot guy reminds me of somebody. <laughs> A stolen picture from five years ago. Crazy. That's wild, wild shit. Yeah, I just got to shout out Garrett Watts. The nice, like, again, you, you see people on the internet and I don't really trust anybody these days. All the stories that you and I have, you know, we have trouble trusting anybody we meet yeah. on the internet. Um, he's just the most wholesome, nice person ever. Just I stopped, love like, just for like, it was like a full hour of his day that we were talking back and forth. That started from him complimenting, like, my body dysmorphia post. And I was like, you could have just liked the post, but you took the time to DM me, like, a voice chat of you, like, giving encouragement and stuff. That's insane. And then we just like continued talking for a while. And I was like, oh, you're actually still like, you're actually still doing this. Like, and we've done this a few times now. It's just, what a lovely human being. Yeah. God anyway. bless him, dude. Yeah. Where were we? Anyway. Um, yeah. So crackers in the cafeteria. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. This isn't. It always just, cycles back. <laughs> it always comes back. Um, <clears throat> this isn't even much of a story. I just thought it was funny, kind of. And also, like, because I've had traumas in the past where people have, like, yelled at me and, like, made me do things, even little things like this that aren't a big deal f- kind of freak me out because it kind of just triggers that old stuff, you know? Mm-hmm. So um, our work has, like, a cafeteria that, like, has food every day for lunch. They make food and there's a la carte salads and stuff like that, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I was running late for lunch that day, so the cafeteria is closed at this point. I, but it's not closed, closed. You can still go in there and get to-go boxes and forks and bullshit, napkins, whatever. So I'm eating with someone, like a coworker, and I get up to go get like a box to put my, my eggs in. Um, <laughs> and I've seen these people that work the cafeteria a lot, um, and they've always been real nice. And there's always like a, a thing of – like a basket of crackers by the checkout line. They're just sitting there because people take crackers. No one gives a shit. Anywhere you've ever eaten in your entire life, no one gives a shit about the crackers. They give you free crackers. They they put a bowl out in front. Some Yeah, there's peanuts sometimes. No one cares. And I've even had these crackers before. They are the stalest, oldest crackers. I'm like, dude, buy new saltines. They cost two pennies. My gosh. It's, they are lit- like, look, dude, me, you know me, I eat some stale white people shit. It would take a whole lot for me to waste food and just biting into this cracker. I'm like, <laughs> like the stalest thing I have ever put in my mouth. Holy shit. Besides my uncle, you know, anyway, uh, so, so, but I was like, but sometimes I'm like, I just, I, I don't eat a whole lot and I'm like, I'll grab a packet of crackers. <laughs> Oh boy, fills me right up. <laughs> so anyway, I go in there. <laughs> go ahead. I'm full. <laughs> so I go in there. I grab a fork and I grab a thing of I grab a two things of crackers, two things of crackers, and the cafeteria dude loses his fucking shit. I'm not joking, dude. He out of nowhere raises his voice from across, like over his side of the cafeteria. He's like, "Hey!" He's like, if you, you can't be taking those crackers unless that, – that's like for the chili people. You can't just be taking crackers. Well, if you want to take one, you can take one maybe. Maybe I'll let you take one this time. What? And I gave him a fucking look and I just tossed them both back in. I was like, fucking all right. And I just walked out. Like I walked out like I couldn't give less of a shit. I'm not going to – Why was he I having a power trip over pit. crackers? He kept talking about it once I walked out because there was another person in there with him. And I think she was kind of like, hey – um. Calm the fuck down, dumbass. <laughs> and you could, and I couldn't quite hear what she was saying because she was talking like a regular human, you know, quieter. The indoor voice? The, the indoor voice? <laughs> the kind of voice? Wow. <laughs> so I hear her kind of mumble something and he's like, oh, he just thinks he can come in here and take crackers. And I'm like, first of all, they taste like fucking shit, you dumbass piece of asshole. 
I'm not really good. I'm like, I should have gone back in there and said that. You should have taken a whole handful and crushed them and then thrown them back. <laughs> Here's the thing, dude. If I didn't work there, I could have had so much more fun with this. Because literally, without breaking eye contact, I would have started crushing them with my bare fucking hands. Because they wouldn't have been able to do anything to me. What are you going to do? You're going to call security and say, I fucking crushed the crackers? <laughs> Grow up. Can you imagine? I start crushing all the crackers. He's like, stop. Stop. And I'm like, stop it now. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, huh? Stop me. That's so psychotic. <laughs> there could have been so much more fun. I could have had it with that. I would have, you know, casually flipped them off or said, fuck you, old man. Like any of that stuff. It was an old guy? I, I held off from doing it. Well, he's like. I don't know, 50 probably. Yeah. <laughs> Mid thirties. <laughs> dude, if he was 20, I would have told him to fucking kill himself. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not give lip to a young person. Are you kidding? So I was trying to respect my elders here. Sorry. Yeah. And I was just like, all I did was I just gave him this look and I just kind of like walked out and I threw them both back. I'm, I'm not gonna be like, Oh, thank you, sir. I'll take the one fucking cracker packet. So I tossed them both back. I'm like, I don't, I don't need crackers. Fuck off. The fork costs more than the fucking crackers. <laughs> Dumbass. So I don't know. I don't know whether it's a funny story or not, but I was, it genuinely upset me the rest of the day. I was just upset that someone talked to me that way. Not in a way of like, you know, pissed off man. Like, I can't believe. Rah, rah, rah. Like, I just, yeah. I just was like upset that someone like Over at a place crackers. that I normally, well, at a place that I feel safe, a person that's been nice to me before fucking talked to me that way. It was, it, I just upset me. I was not, I was not doing well. And that sounds like a dumb thing to get upset by, but I was just like. I Maybe just he felt like at the moment you couldn't crackers. do anything. Maybe he what? <laughs> he hand carved those crackers with the toothpick, all the little edges. <laughs> all the holes in them. Yeah. I poked them out myself, licking the tip of the needle and <laughs> personally salted <poking>. them. <laughs> personally placed each grain of salt on the top of the cracker. And squeezers. <laughs> Breathed on it so the salt kind of melts into the cracker. He's describing this to me. It's like, you think those crackers just appeared there in those nice-ass plastic packages wrapped around those specifically placed grains of salt on that buttery licked surface with those pin pu pu pushing coming up. <laughs> He's having a stroke. I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> Die. <laughs> uh, so my goal is... To never walk Kill in that cafeteria oh. ever again. <laughs> my goal is to make him my bitch. That is the goal. Yeah, wow. Yeah, no, genuinely. That's such a weird sounds... extreme reaction for crackers. I'm, I'm still not over the fact that it's crackers, of all things. Even talking I can imagine about if you're is... stealing, yeah. like, soup or something. Uh, even then, <laughs> Yeah, like, something something actually soup. cares about. <laughs> Actual restaurants don't care. This isn't coming out of your personal cracker stash. Maybe no it is. No one's like, oh, Maybe hey, it... um... We're two saltines short this week, Ben. <laughs> what are you doing there? Why would we just not pay you this week, huh? The security basket of crackers. <laughs> Those are my friends. <laughs> he thinks he's alive. He's actually insane. <laughs> <laughs> he's fucking nuts. <laughs> he's the homeless guy we let run the, the fucking Playmobil grills. <laughs> what are they called? Uh, no, P P Fisher Price. He's just bah, 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 honking a thing back there. <laughs> <laughs> little, little makeshift. Chicken's almost ready. It's just plastic. <laughs> <laughs> One bulb microwave. The papa corn is almost done. Put those fucking crackers back before I put my dick in your ass. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to tear your arms off. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm going to tear your asshole open from the inside. <laughs> Dude, I have the worst faces, genuinely. Uh. It's crazy, because if you watch the earlier ones, you never did that. <laughs> I'm just going insane. I, I just went <laughs> once, and that was it. <laughs> Dude, you changed my life, honestly, with that. Dude, it's crazy how worst. many... That semi almost ran me off the road, and my first... You know what my first fucking expression was? <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Someone could get shot in the face in front of me. My fucking family could get killed in front of me. I'd be like, and then I'd cry. But I mean, first I'd be like, it's genuinely so funny when you do that. <laughs> no one in the highlights thought it was funny. I was kind of hoping that video would go viral, but it didn't. Uh, where were we? What were I talking about? Oh yeah, the dude yelling at me in the cafeteria for the fucking crackers. 
Holy shit. Yeah, I'm getting upset thinking of all the other stuff that triggers, so I should move on before I have a full-on panic attack. Okay. Uh, I'm not even kidding, a little bit. I wish I was. Um, oh, I need to check St. Louis News and see if I made it. I, I, don't, I doubt it. But um, I was driving home. I was streaking the other oh, day. Oh, <laughs> hey, I was driving home from the airport that night in my in the new car. And oh. I come up to the street corner and I can see that someone's filming for like a, a news station. And since it's St. Louis, it could be a bigger news station. I don't know. Fox News. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh, the purple Eminem is gay now. So uh, we're going to cover that because that's what we do. Anyway, so I see the camera is currently – it looks like it's rolling because he's got the microphone up. The light's on. He's talking. They could have been between takes. They might have just cut that take out completely. But I am lightning fast in my reflexes if we've learned anything from my driving. So I see this roll down the window that works because it's the new car. If I wouldn't have been able to do oh. it in the old car, I would have just been yelling from closed window. <laughs> 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 So I open the window and I drive by making that face as I pass by very slowly <laughs> in the car. I'm not joking. I, so I pass, So somewhere on some St. Louis local news <laughs> at midnight, you see this black car pass by, the window rolled down, and me go. <laughs> it was so funny. I should have like mood or something, like really cursed. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> So you're telling me this footage is probably out there and we haven't probably. even looked for it? I hope I'm famous in like a couple weeks. Someone finds it. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're that white guy. Uh. <laughs> you're the moo guy. <laughs> I'm the moo guy. Holy shit. <laughs> Ew. Ew. That is nasty. Oh, that was Do you know what, what was in the area? Like, was there a car accident or was there... No, nothing was Is going on. No go cops, off? no nothing. I think he was just I think they were just getting an establishing shot for something. There's like a government building behind that corner. So odds are Do they probably tossed that take out, but I wish I knew I couldn't see the logo, so I don't know who to look up. And I don't watch the fucking news. Who fucking watches these people? But they're probably talking about something fucking horrific anyway. The whole, Dude. Coming back next time. Why black oh, people are fam. the problem to everything in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Not like even that. It's like a, a dad killed his like wife and three kids oh, and over there in the back. <laughs> I'm probably on the news somewhere. <laughs> the newscaster's like trying to stop crying. He's like, okay, three, two. And here at this street corner... There's a, where our beloved Grandpa Joe, beloved community founder and philanthropist, lost all seven of their oh, grandchildren God. in a horrific, horrific car accident from a drunk driver. <laughs> That's... Uh, maybe uh, we shouldn't look this footage up. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Um, all right. I forget I said anything. Oh, this was a wild DM I got. I get the wildest DMs. It is crazy. We could do a whole episode on just my DMs. I, dude, mm -hmm. guess what? Some you're not gonna guess, so there's no point. Guess. Here's what someone DM'd me the other day. They <laughs> okay. said, "They said, Daniel, I need help. Um, how do I get off a roof?" And I, I thought they were. I thought at first I thought it was a joke, and then I thought, "Hold on, are they like?" Because they said it's me again. So I and I. Some people in past have <laughs> talked to me. He's just been up there since the last DM. <laughs> it's me again. <laughs> I still can't get Please. down. Please. <laughs> what do I do? <clears throat> yeah, well, the, so the second thing is I've had, like, depressed people message me. And, I'm like, I'm not going to give them my own advice or anything like that. But, like, I'm the general, like, hey, we're happier with you here. I genuinely want you here. Here's here's a number to call because now the, the suicide number is a lot easier to call. And, like, talk to, if you're in school, talk to a counselor. Since college, logic ruined counselor it. Here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they had to change it to a three number. <laughs> Because they were like, like logic has literally logic, caused dude. suicide. <laughs> no, no, no. They'd be begging him to make another song. They'd be like, suicide's <laughs> dropped when you came out with your fucking song. And everyone thought it was Please. cringe or something, whatever that means. So do another one. Um, uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, no. So someone damn me and they were like, hey, Daniel, it's me again. I'm on a roof. So at first I thought it was a joke. Second, at second I thought it was maybe someone I talked to and passed about depression. I was like, 
oh shit, they're gonna fucking kill themselves. So I, I forget where I was, but I immediately go into the DM because I want to make sure nothing's gonna happen. Um, and, and no background. And as I scroll up, I'm like, oh, so this is just you're just saying hi, it's me again. Um, and so I DM them back. I'm like, are you okay? Like, what do you mean you're on a roof? And they were like, I genuinely just woke up here and I don't know how to get down. And I was like, you sleepwalk? And they were like, yeah. This is a real fucking thing. So then I I just said to call the to call 911 and direct them to the fire department because they'll come with ladders and get you down. Or or just call 911 and they'll tell you what to do. But I mean like call 911. And they were like, okay, that's good. Thank you very much. I'm sorry to bug you with this. And I was like, holy shit, this is real. This actual person was on the roof. And the first person they thought to contact. The internet personality. <laughs> they didn't call their parents in this house. They didn't call the police. They DM'd me. So if you're a parent listening to this right now. <laughs> Check on your kids, dude. Please hug your kids. They should not be coming to me when they're waking up on a roof. I mean, I'm honored. I genuinely was very honored, but also terrified for you. And I really hope you're okay. But also, like, yeah. parents, help your kids or something. I don't, I'm, I'm scared. I, I hope their parents don't beat that person. I, I, that scares me. Stop. I mean, what's the thought going through their head? They're like, oh, okay, I call dad and I get down, but I also get beat. Or I DM Daniel, who doesn't know shit. I DM that funny guy on the internet that one time and see what he fucking thinks. It's a good thing I've got good advice because otherwise there'd be a lot of dead people. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, um, speaking of... No, no. Uh, there was a dog scuba diving. <laughs> That's There's no transition to that. <laughs> Did you see that video? No. <laughs> Everyone was slamming it because these rich ass white people made this custom fitted scuba tank suit for their dog and took their dog scuba diving. And this poor dog is the most terrified looking dog. He's just, where the sky? Like he doesn't know what the hell is going on. This dude is seeing nothing and he's not even moving his paws. He's just like, He's like having war flashbacks and these people are like, look at him. I mean, they were just like, look at him go. Like, dude. Ugh. So everyone was roasting. They were like, get him out of the fucking water. And everyone was, everyone was commenting. They were like, we're going to steal your fucking dog. And like all this aggressive stuff. And I thought it was so fucking funny. Ugh. But genuinely, just what a, what on God's green earth, how rich and bored do you have to be? Holy shit. So not only are you rich enough that you've scuba dived, you are so bored. Well. You're so bored and lonely. You're like, what if dog came Put the with dog us? in there. <laughs> What's that dog doing? <laughs> Drown him. <laughs> so, just a wild video on the internet. Rich That's people a, activities. <laughs> no fucking kidding. That's all I had on Goodbye that. another. <laughs> no. Okay. Really short. This is the outro. Inside Out is making another movie. Which, God, why are they doing that? But they came out with a new emotion. Don't know if you've seen that. So, Horny. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Oh, Someone, no. there were three frame TikToks where, of that. And it was just a really fizzed out um, Steve Harvey Eminem <laughs> posed with the word horny. <laughs> That was so my horrendous. That was that was my question to you is if you could pick which which um, emotion it would be what would you pick so that's it. Horny, dude. One hundred percent. Steve Harmy. Uh, Steve Harmy. Steve Harmy. Horny Eminem. <laughs> Steve Horny, dude. Dude, I. If there's one thing I will never get sick of, it's people that dress up as Steve Harvey for Halloween and do the splits with that bell. You know what I mean? Have you seen those? I've Dude, seen that so many times. They make my day. And everyone does a different variation, and it's fucking hysterical every time. It's just the, uh, whatever the answer is. Yes! Yes! <laughs> like people sprinting through the cafeterias and then just kill! Ding! It's so fucking funny, dude. Did you wanna? Um, did you wanna ask for notes and then we'll do them? No, from Finn. I got called queer by some Japanese girls whilst going through a Shinjuku crossing. That's my note. All right. Cool. <laughs> Thanks. Glad to hear. Or sorry that happened. <laughs> <laughs> 
I get called queer at Walmart, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a compliment. Schmood. <laughs> Schmood. All right. Uh, next one from Komodo Ass Titan, who might be confused after <laughs> you were like, we recorded Friday. And I'm like, we're recording tonight. He's like, someone's Surprise. lying. <laughs> Surprise. Both things can exist at the same time. Okay. Well, the last part I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the first part says, podcast note, I would like to talk about No Nut November and say that it has been difficult and challenging, but I've been successful and still going he, strong. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Of all people, that is the, dude, no. And I'm not he's trying nice to talk. Christian man. <laughs> no, he's not. One of the most perverted people I've ever met in my life. No. Dude, 1202 he already <laughs> lost on November 1st. There's no way, without a doubt. <laughs> Shut up. Stop 12 lying. 12.02 he lost, and he didn't start till 12.01. <laughs> he started in the same minute. <laughs> the fireworks are going off. He's like, I'm about to go off. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was thinking New Year for some reason. <laughs> That's why I was thinking fireworks. You know how we celebrate the start of November? <laughs> <laughs> you know how we start November 1st? <laughs> oh, so Families thankful. are going to fight at a big dinner this year. <laughs> so thankful we killed all... No, anyway. Um, <clears throat> Dude, so I was on a date the other night, um, and we were at this place downtown that I like. And um, they were setting up some Christmas tree looking thing in the in the city like thing quad next to us. Okay. We were like, "What's that?" When we pulled up, and then we're eating, and we're next to like the the window, and then all of a sudden a fireworks show just starts. So we, we and we have perfect seating for it. So we just see the full fireworks show. It was huge, and there's skyscrapers everywhere. So these people in these buildings are just sitting there like sleeping, and then just <laughs> <laughs> glass <laughs> shattering everywhere. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> and so everyone was like, oh, wow. And I, a waiter comes by and I was like, hey, do you know like what's going on tonight? And they're like, no. <laughs> I was like, all <laughs> they just right. Like them. <laughs> it's every Friday, dude. <laughs> He's like, I don't see anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, Did you take your medication today? <laughs> <laughs> his head floats off his body and starts talking to me. <laughs> Did you take your medicine today? I'm like, oh, oh. no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm toasting an empty spot. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for coming out tonight. You're hot. Let's kiss now. <laughs> Not to brag or anything, but... It was the best kiss I've ever had. Wasn't that the best kiss you ever had? If so I gave wet. you a kiss somewhere else, that's called a munch. <laughs> Scott telling everyone you know that fact. I really shouldn't be embarrassing myself like this, but I think it's kind of Dad. <laughs> Jesus never mentioned munch. <laughs> well, he didn't. That's not a lie. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> Our like, spice hey, isn't in the Bible. <laughs> anyway, that note. <laughs> so... It has been difficult and challenging, but I have been successful and still going strong, even though my friend Nick gave me porn mags as temptation under God's supervision, okay. Okay, and I must pause. outlast the urge. No. Pause. Pause. <laughs> okay. Pause. You can't keep pausing. I have not supplied th- anything to this man, and I'll give you context to embarrass him some more. My oh, friend, a different friend, really quick, Zach... Oh. Uh, a mutual friend of both of ours, he went to an estate sale and a guy had a bin of old magazines and Zach paid him, I think, like 20 bucks for it. And Zach wanted the old Playboys as like collector's issues because there's like ones with Seth Rogen on the cover. There's a Seinfeld one, like just goofy covers. But in that bin, there was also just the raunchiest of magazines that you could possibly imagine. I think one was called Leg World and it was just feet. <laughs> it was just... It was just Why was it vile. Feet world? <laughs> don't you get a variety? You get both. The full leg, dude. I don't know. But Zach didn't want the distasteful ones. He wanted the Playboy ones that still have words in them. You know. You know so, what? This is really embarrassing. I'm about to shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
What ha- I've never looked this up. What if you go on YouTube and type in diarrhea sound effect, what pops up? I just looked up D I A R, and immediately the first result is diarrhea sounds. Yes. Whoa! Relaxing diarrhea sounds. Ten hour edition. Stop, hey, bud. That. Welcome back. <laughs> Stop that. Have you just been playing that this whole time? Like, came back <laughs> the entire time. It's just a live feed of your bathroom. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> I mean, it could have been because I forgot to mute and the bathroom was across the hall and I didn't shut the door. <laughs> I was in a hurry, so I was trying not to moan too much. I always poop when I moan. That hasn't happened in so long. Anyway, anyway you were telling a story that we probably shouldn't tell. No, no, no. We should tell it because I'm getting framed as like some guy who's a porn dealer and I'm not but a porn everyone dealer. everyone knows you're... Well, I mean, other than the time you did actually deal porn. Yeah, there was a part in fifth grade when I was drawing literal... Right. Horrible drawings, by the way. But anyway, no, 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 no. My my Shaky ass boobs, <laughs> comically <laughs> large. The head's like this big. <laughs> yeah, really quick, really quick. Uh, I uh, my friend he bought the twenty dollar bin. He was getting rid of all the nasty uh, magazines. I've never seen Nate so giddy and so. It was like a kid on Christmas. I've never seen that man smile so big in my life. Just full of joy. Nick, no, just keep keep in mind. Keep in mind, we talk about money, and he's giving us some. So, oh no, we he'll giggle at this. this. He'll literally, yeah, he'll okay. giggle at this. I know right. he will. I have video. I took videos of him. <laughs> Good. <laughs> just the happiest man I've ever seen. And then at the end, uh, he's like, uh, um, I, uh, "Do I really? I don't really want this." And then I think Zach's like, "Well, dude, you have to take it." And he's like okay like dude <laughs> you didn't <laughs> yeah. want it all right dude you would have just thrown it out he took it with pride i've never dude no well, i don't know so, if i should take these magazines <laughs> i think uh, i will all right oh, i guess i guess i'll take them off your hands Go, <laughs> give me a break dude <laughs> i guess i'll take them off your boot and dicks and ball <clears throat> anyway <laughs> so i i had no that was an a to b transaction i had no part in that dude uh uh-uh, uh, no. Uh-huh, so don't uh-huh. frame me as some guy that's like, you want these? No, I did. What did I? I was just in the room. J. Robert that's all Oppenheimer I did. after Oppenheimer. <laughs> no, <laughs> I designed those magazines. <laughs> it's a blow Spread up your something. butthole like this. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's blowing up all over the country with these designs. <laughs> these pages uh, are gonna be so sticky. Okay. Oh. All right. Aww. All right. <laughs> So let's start over. I would like to talk about No Nut November and say that it has been difficult and challenging, but I have been successful and still going strong. (laughs) Even though my friend Annette gave me porn mags as temptation under God's supervision, I must outlast the urge. I speak as Komodo S. Titan, the Titan King, who shall rule again. And then uh, a list of some stuff in some language. I'm going to look it up. Make him (sighs) make shit out. (laughs) (laughs) Great. (laughs) (laughs) Your voices are so funny. <laughs> Nature always has a way of finding balance. The only question is, which role will we play? Oh. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> That's very deep. The after guy who sends about, no, not the guy November. Who, the guy who sends cartoon porn in our server is sending philosophical quotes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever thought about who are we really? <laughs> anyway, anyway here's some of these jugs. furry boobs. <laughs> Um, and then the next thing he says, I'm not going to read because it's, uh, it's got a slur in it. So, um, Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, Jesus. The Romani people are coming. They, yeah, we'll stop. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Lowe's note. Pod note. Have mercy on lively Lord for she is faint. Heal them, Lord, for their bones are in agony. A Bible verse, Psalm 6-2. If she does somehow pass, can we get Gamer Girl Ash for merch? JK. Oh, boy. No! <laughs> uh, hope she's well. Well, yeah, you hope she's well after saying that. <laughs> I don't want my friend dead. Thank you very much. No, no, he was just saying if she was dead. No, I don't we care. use their ash no. for merch. <laughs> Which, I mean, we may as well. I mean... No. It, I'd use my ash for something. Get some money out of it. No! <laughs> Dude, honestly, no one's ashes I, for money. <laughs> Don't do a funeral for me. No one's going to come anyway. What you got to do, and it's expensive. It's so expensive. Just throw me out in a ditch somewhere and make it a funny story for some farmer at some point. That would be that would be kind of funny, actually. 
Make me like a just he's know, like gonna a scarecrow be, in a cornfield. He's gonna be ruined for the rest of his life. Yeah, he's gonna, probably gonna go nonverbal. Never talk to his kids again. Farmers don't need to be verbal. I'm sorry. <laughs> they just talk to the cows, dude. That's like... <laughs> what was he gonna talk to the corn? <laughs> genre of person they just don't exist just if anything the coin talks to them <laughs> they're all schizophrenic that's insane that's such a crazy take <laughs> that's not talk, a take dude. it's a joke <laughs> fuck you no <laughs> i say something insane you're like well that's a take all right that's what he ex- believes in <laughs> <laughs> the racism he believes that <laughs> farmer racism <laughs> <laughs> that's iterative it's the same thing <laughs> The racist racism. <laughs> Dude, I've never seen a queer farmer in my life. Someone <laughs> someone DM me. If you're a queer farmer, please, please DM us some pictures because that would be great. I don't mean in a weird way. I just mean like, I don't know. Like I don't mean regular. it in like a broke back mountain way. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Send us a picture of you fucking your partner on the tractor. That would be that would be great. Dude, Thank Ram you. Ranch. That's, that's your proof right there. I feel like you don't know what Ram Who? Ranch is. Seven naked cowboys... <laughs> I'll stop there. Huh? <laughs> Where? Where can I find them? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Metals Man 420. Here's my note. Episode 3 of our series. I made it to Detroit. I have about six weapons on me in this godforsaken place. I've seen 17 druggies already. I'm meeting a guy who will give me a new identity. The F. Um, I don't know if there should be a period in there. Um, I've seen 17 druggies already. I'm meeting a guy who will give me a new identity. The FBI has Daniel on a wanted list, and they are searching for him now. I'm not sure what I'll do to the next guy. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I can't read when there's no periods in my brain. The FBI has Daniel on a wanted list. They are searching for him now. Not sure what I'll do next. The guy gave me a new identity. I now, I know I, I, oh golly. (laughs) I know am known, I now am known as Cheeseburger Farting Man. Amen. All that struggle of me reading. Okay, fellas, what's happening next episode? Will I kill more people or try to clear my name officially? I think you should, you should try learn some grammar. Your name. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> what did Owl City ever do? <laughs> Make music. <laughs> Ah, that was fucking good. <clears throat> All right. That's Metal Man's note. <laughs> Woo. Rodney's note. Um, fuck old people. Don't know how to order shit from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get myself a sub, slow ass bitch. Get out of the way. <laughs> uh. Nothing else. <laughs> 